from Elevate Studios in Summit, it's the It's So Late, It's Early Show with Lance Spencer. Today, Nate Rim, Karis Spencer, Rebecca Curran, Samantha Narciso, special guests, Christopher, Connor, and Ian, featuring Joe Narciso, a special presentation of Modesty is Hottesty, and here's your host, Lance Benson! Thanks to the world premiere of the It's So Late, It's Early show with Lance Benson. Woo! Woo! I, of course, am your host, Lance Benson. I'm really glad you guys are all on here. You guys look like a wonderful audience. Connor, good to see you. Good job. Yeah, look at that. If you guys need more seats, feel free. They're over here. Just line them on up. Um, so I've been looking forward to tonight for a really long time, and we have an awesome, awesome show for you guys tonight. And we're packed with some of your favorite guests, um, and we have a lot of fun things playing. We got a few videos, a game that we're going to be playing, um, and of course, the comic entertainment of yours truly. Yo! And also, I'd like to introduce Joe Narciso, our color man. Ah. Yeah, there he is. Thank you, man. Also, tonight we have the Elevate world premiere showing of the video, Modesty. Good <laughs> <laughs> thanks to those guys. It's going to be good. All right. So uh, we had a pretty interesting week, right? I say the everyone had a pretty interesting week in general. Some interesting stuff going on in the world. Uh, did you guys hear about this? Did you hear about this? Justin Bieber in the news again. Yes. Yeah, you heard about this? No, what happened? Um, well, Justin, <laughs> I, I call him Justin because us in the entertainment business, we're all on the first name basis. <laughs> yeah, um, so he got pulled over in a completely chromed out car this week. Completely chromed out. Yeah. Chrome. Yeah. So he ended up getting tickets for speeding, blacked out windows, and driving without talent. Oh! oh Talent. 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 I feel like I missed that softball Talent. on that one. Talent. You guys excited Talent. about the new Batman movie? Talent. Yeah, it's yeah. coming out this week. I hear there's a lot of people going to the three movie marathon um, on Thursday in Now Inside. Midnight Club. So have you heard about people doing this? Too? I have. Yeah. I'm by myself in planning doing it uh, this week. Oh, I might be there. That sounds like something. Um, it's where the people go to all three of the Batman showings back to back. The last one at midnight. Um, and they say for the premiere they're going to have popcorn, sodas, and lozenges. Oh, lozenges! I am Batman. Because he talks like this. Yes. How are you doing? I am Batman. Hey. <laughs> you can't all be gold. Yeah, there it is. I think I won. I think I won. So, so, this week, as you guys all may know, what? many of us took a, a trip to camp. <laughs> the camp was called, what Mitch? I mean, certainly the audience, what was Never it? Never the same. Never the same, that's right. Uh, or, or NTS for short, and we have a few guests on tonight to talk about their highlights, uh, share some thoughts and funny moments and memories and stories from camp. Uh, they called it Never the Same, and after a week of unidentifiable, unidentifiable, unidentifiable meats, all-you-can-eat ice cream, and Big Al's wings, you know what will never be the same? My colon. Oh, oh it gets better. <laughs> so at camp we were on the red team, um, so people got totally decked out from head to toe in red. Um, some people wore capes even, um, face paint, all this other stuff. I even saw one guy who by mistake permanently dyed his hair red. <laughs> Never seen those labels. Uh, those were good too. Yeah. So any Hunger Games fans here? Any, any Hunger Games? Yeah. Hunger Games fans? So do you guys remember the Capitol people? Yeah. yeah. The Capitol people? Um, that's exactly what this camp felt like. Everyone was overly done, dressed up like the Capitol. Um, so we actually have, if you guys know if you guys know what they look like, I have one example. This one was actually at camp. I'm not sure if you guys saw her. <laughs> uh, so, uh, a remarkable resemblance. But that was one example. <laughs> but one looks familiar. <laughs> All right, so the camp was six hours north in uh, upstate New York, hosted at a college called Houghton. Houghton with the accent. I just made the accent up, I don't even know why I used it. Um, so it's one of those places where the cell phone service goes into extended network. You know, and their downtown is one street light and a feed store. So I don't, I, I don't want to say, I don't want to say it's far off the beaten path, but um, Houghton College was looking for a new tagline, and they originally wanted to go with miles from ordinary. 
<laughs> but since that was already taken, they went with the tagline, miles away from anything that matters. <laughs> seriously, seriously though. When, uh, when we were trying to find our way up there, the GPS was just a dot in a green field with the words behind it, good luck. <laughs> I feel like this is a good vibe we got going. <laughs> oh, oh, where's uh, I thought I had uh, something in my pocket. I guess I don't. Um, Do you have something in your pocket? I, I, I could. It's possible. I'm gonna get you though. Oh, yeah, my you have one. Have one of what? That Check that out. We uh, we had the uh, oh, camp experience. Out of my pocket, Look at that. Spoon in my what a perfect pocket. comedic timing. We thought it showed up then. Holy moly, that's amazing. So we, we started this game, and by we, I mean Willie. <laughs> there he is. He started this game where you secretively slip a spoon into the unsuspecting victim's pocket. And uh, see if they notice it. I, at one time, had eight different spoons on me. Three in my pocket and five in my backpack. I felt like I was an easy target there. Uh, Willie even got the main speaker of the week. You guys remember that when Willie then, then got brought up on stage? He was a hero of the week. There he was. And did anyone else notice Willie? Eyeing up his pocket for another time. Yeah. And it was right when the speaker started getting serious, we really decided, no, maybe not. Mm -hmm. We're talking about child trafficking, is the time to be <laughs> the man. Nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for that at all. Um, so it's funny because we actually got an email last night from Houghton and it says that we now owe them $6,000 in spoons. Woo! Yeah! So they're without spoons at camp this, this week, they're reduced to sports. You know what those are? I don't even know what happens after that. So we have leadership conference coming up. This is going to be a great time for anyone in high school that wants some leadership training. Um, it's not only great for Elevate or Renaissance, but it's good for college apps or uh, job applications, right? Sure. That's how he got this job, going through leadership training. Um, though it is only for high schoolers, and um, I know Joe Narciso got really bummed when he found out it was for the wrong kind of seniors. Oh, wait a minute. That's, that's an elderly joke. That's a joke about me being old. <laughs> very, very old. So we got big news, big news. Uh, people are really excited for summer X groups starting this week, Wednesday night, 7 to 9, backstage right here. And after NTS, Never the Same Camp, there was a big push to rename summer X groups. Uh, one option is to call it, not quite the same as I was before the, start, the summer started, but still slightly better off. <laughs> it's a bit longer, but we're seeing if it takes. Um, mostly because NQTSIWBTSSBSSBO group is way harder to say. So guys, I'm really excited. We have a great, great show for you tonight. We have some great guests, is that so? Great so, guests. Great guests. We have Mitch Martin. Mitch Martin's here. Mitch Martin. That's right, Mitch Martin. Woo! Also, also, Levi Glick is here. Levi Glick. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We have Samantha Narciso. Yeah. And Rebecca Curry. Uh, also, all the way from Milburn, we have youth pastor extraordinaire Nate Rails in the building. Nate yeah. 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 So it's going to be a great, great show, guys. Do me a favor, stand up. Say hello to Samantha, Sharky, Ursula, Cinema, and the Elevate Worship Band. Uh, they have a little one on the way? Yeah, uh, September 4th, we are going to be celebrating our third child. Um, all right, here we go. Burgeoning family. Burgeoning family. <laughs> So, uh, Nate, I'm, uh, it's, I think it's pretty safe to assume you had a pretty excellent week. Oh, the week, the week was incredible. Incredible. Um, I, I would guess that um, knowing your, how the camp works and your relationships here, you probably got a lot of sleep uh, yeah, to bed um, early each night. Yeah, Is that safe to assume? Yeah, more than ever. More than ever. <laughs> <laughs> At least 15 minutes a night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A good solid 15 am I, minutes. Am I right when I heard that sometimes you went to bed at 3 in the morning? Two, yeah. what, what was that about? Well, a couple times we were just, you know, the energy was just nobody wanted to go to sleep. You know, we were eating candy like crazy. We were meeting all kinds of new friends, uh, people down, you know, down the hallway from us. It was just incredible. And uh, we met some really cool people in Buffalo um, that are that are at an awesome church there. And, uh, you know, a really funny guy that hopefully we'll see a picture of later, maybe. If not, uh, it's on the Elvis page. So that's cool. I can't cook you a picture. <laughs> um, so, um... We've been hearing a lot about these teams, and uh, we were red this week. Can you tell a little bit about those teams? Yeah, the teams were, the entire week we had four teams. Red, blue, green, and yellow. And our church was linked up. Oh, it was no red team. Oh, wow. And the red team was linked up with four other churches. And uh, so we were the red team. There was probably 75 of us. Uh, yeah, probably 75, 80 of us. And uh, every single day there was a part of the day for an hour that was called team competitions. And we competed against all of the other colors. And um, face paint, you know, ripping shirts, 
you know, anything that we could find that was red, wearing it, tying it on. Um, so capes, I saw some capes. Capes, there was a lot of capes. Some um, capes. So it was cool. Every every day, I've never worn so much red. In fact, I'm going away this week, and my entire suitcase is red because I just take the suitcase I had. So that's pretty <laughs> cool. All right, well, Nate, I'm going to bring you back up a little later. Right. So uh, thank you. We're going to give him a round of applause. Next, our next guest uh, I'd like to bring out. Um, I know she comes from a real solid family. Let's bring her up, Kara Spencer. Yeah, well, we had, to, we had to let some people go, but then you were the next in line. Yep. You're welcome, you're welcome. So, Kara, Kara, tell me, um, how good is your family? Pretty good. Oh, pretty good, okay. Almost as good as the coffee Ooh, the key that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this cheer I keep hearing about? Cheer, yes. As Nate referred to, at the end of the week we had to compete. So we got all of our people together, and let me just say, I was as proud as a mother would be of all of you that were at camp in this audience that did that cheer. Because I know you guys had a good with us when we said, see that grass over there? Those are fake bleachers. Go dance on those fake bleachers. Like, like fake bleachers, or, you know, do the, the robot, the ninja robot, and do all that stuff. So we are very proud of you guys with the red team. Thank you very much. Um, for all of you that still, any girl that still have their slinky bands, I'll see you in the back. I have a prize for you. It's still oh. intact. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. 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 Yeah, let, me, let me just get back to this cheer really quick. Um, we didn't have so long to practice it, and um, yeah, we still got caught on camera. We were in charge of coming up with like, a cheer, a rap. So thank, thank you for those of you that rap, even though you're incredibly white. Um, and <laughs> and thank you for those that um, actually did the dance, too. So if you guys want to take a look at that, Oh, and so record, if you're wondering, we did not come in last place for that. So thank you for all of your efforts out there. Um, we want to thank uh, we'll day for some people. Joe wrote the rap for that song in like five seconds. Yeah. 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 You guys wanted to um, thank for choreographing that. I don't know. But you know what's amazing? We had four churches. Every other group had one church, and yep. they all rehearsed before time. Yeah. And we we got we got three days to practice with people we never met before, and we did pretty stinking good for, right. the, for that situation. Pretty good. Woo! Proud of you. Next year will be even better. Now we're watching out for a few other videos that we have that are also choreographed, starring you guys. So thank you. Karen Spencer, ladies and gentlemen. Our next guest, hailing from the town he lives in, Levi Glick. Oh. <laughs> Hey, all right. <laughs> this is Levi. <laughs> all right, so that's fine. We'll get someone to clean that up. <laughs> Nothing but the best here. All right, so next year you're you're a graduating senior. Yeah. You are. This is your last year that you could have gone to camp. Yeah. But what did you say about next year if we go? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> As a potential leader, he said that if we go again, he's already signed up. He wants to go. Uh, next year you are going to Goshen College, is it? No, not Goshen. Goshen no. <laughs> College. Where are you going? College of Wooster. Oh, that's right, your brother goes to Goshen. Goshen. So Wooster College, it's a good school, I think. Um, <laughs> so, but it's safe to assume that you had a good time this week at camp? Oh, yeah. Very good time. Yeah, what, um, or some highlights for you? Um, this is a little weird, but it was probably a little highlight for me. Um, Connor Mays, never know Connor. Connor, bro. Connor, bro. Connor, bro. Connor, bro. Connor, bro. He brought this big suitcase that was separate from all his other stuff, and every night before... He went to bed. He would change his sheets every night to, to a new like Disney princess. Sheet. <laughs> I saw the sheets. They're good. I, saw, like, six sheets. I was like, "Where is he getting all these Disney princess?" <laughs> Jasmine was my favorite. Jasmine, <laughs> good sheet. Um, I hear you have you're pretty big involved with uh, the sports this week. But, oh yeah. Yep. Every uh, every day they have different competitions, and um, well, why don't you tell us about two of them? Uh, well, our, my favorite two were the dodgeball and soccer, which are the ones we won. Domination. Domination. Yep, and uh, where's Connor Williams? Willie? Right there. He scored the head air goal to Woo! win it for us. Woo! Yeah. I think on the dodgeball team. Raise your hand. Raise your hand for dodgeballers. Well done. Wait, even if you're on the winning team? No, if you're any kind of dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> you can build the ball like that, but you can't help it. Um, now, there was actually a buzz going around camp. Did you guys hear this about, um, people were th saying that there was a guy named Ryan Gosling at, at, uh, at the camp. Yeah, I'm not sure, but if you look at him, 
Wouldn't you see, like, if we had a picture of both... Oh, man! <laughs> does, does that person not look like... Do they not look like each other? The guy in the right. I'm not going to write picture. I don't know about the left. <laughs> not enough neck, if you ask me. Um, but two separate girls came up to you and uh, asked for photos with you, right? That's all in my life. <laughs> um, if you could, I hear that we have a clip set up from this week. Uh, could you uh, set up the, set us up for that? Can you guys play that? And could you introduce and explain it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Watch it first, and then I'll explain. All right, all right, even better. Here we go. This is on the bus ride to camp. Oh, Here we go, guys. Yeah. There was a degree of difficulty. There was a degree of difficulty with that, in the fact that the uh, bus was moving. Yeah, the, yeah. The, uh, it was. It was tough to, to film and for everyone to get up. You can see a couple people stumble. They did a great job. The cool thing about that it took one take. <laughs> we just explained it once. They got in and we were done. Yeah, it didn't take. Did you believe well. that? <laughs> <laughs> Levi Click, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Our next guest. Is uh, someone Joe knows very deeply, dearly. Dearly. Someone even argued that he loves her. Somebody. Here we go, Samantha Narcissa. Woo! Samantha Narcissa. Wait for it. Okay. Samantha Narcissa. Yes. Hi. Hey there. How's it going? Good, good. It's good to have you on the show. Thanks. All right. Okay. So my Samantha. My daughter, ladies and gentlemen, my daughter. <laughs> you can, yep. Uh, so I hear that uh, you did something that they called the leadership track. I did. Could you tell us a little about that? Sure. Well, the leadership track was when everybody else was playing the games and doing tie-dye and all that fun stuff. I was walking up a hill and going into the wilderness and doing some fun stuff. And so we did like a ropes course and played a bunch of mind games and I fell a bunch of times. I cut my hand, I cut my leg. I have a bruise on my thigh that wasn't because of that. It was because of Willie. Um, <laughs> other stuff. The spoons, they, they hit hard. No. Oh. <laughs> Can I tell this story? Nah. Uh -huh. All right. So, <laughs> what about uh, what else with the leadership training? This okay. Um. Well, the thing was, I went into it thinking that it was going to be like a conference, you know, because the way that everybody had told me it was was um, like we were going to be like get taking notes, and they were going to be like, "This is how you be a leader in a Christianly way." But um, really what it was is we had to do all these activities together because we had to find out how to work with people who were different than us and who had different strengths. So I found that if it, like during the mind games on, um, on one of the days, that was really, really easy for me. And so the kids let me like step forward and be a leader. But during the physical challenges, I was like, okay, I'm just going to watch. Um, and so, and, but being a leader also means like doing what you don't want to do. Like I had to do a tightrope. I like, have such a fear of falling and like heights and everything. And it was terrifying, but I did it. And then we also had to take this leap of faith thing where we had to like climb up a really, really tall pole. I think it was like 40 feet, but it was really tall. And we had to jump off. Um, and like, yes, we were on like a bungee cord, so it was okay. But I was terrified out of my mind. It took a like, bungee cord? That doesn't sound safe. No, it really wasn't. Oh, not like a car bungee cord. No. I'm yes, a car bungee cord. Okay. They hooked me onto that. It was like, dangerous post that you were afraid going to snap you in the eyes. Yeah. Um, it was really scary. What, what about Sudoku? Sudoku? Don't yeah, we had, another, we had another challenge where um, for the other churches, it was like the Sudoku type problem that they laid on the ground. And some of the other churches, it took them <laughs> 10 plus minutes. Yeah, easily. And um, when Samantha and our group got to it, she looked at it, kind of looked at it for just a moment, figured it out in like 15 seconds, and we got to move on to the next thing. So that was like, <laughs> that was really impressive. <laughs> well done there. Now, also, another highlight for you was the chat rooms. It was. Could you uh, talk about <laughs> Could you, could you talk about your particular favorite chat room? I will talk about my particular favorite chat room. So on the first day, um, I was with Tori and Natalie and Angie and Magoo and Carolyn, sweet Caroline, and we were all there and they're like, where do you want to go? And I was like, you know, I want to go to that all girls one. So we went up and it turned out that it was sexual purity and so I take these new freshmen to the sexual purity one. And so I'm like, oh gosh, this is going to be so bad. But then we watched this really powerful video that really explained <laughs> how I'm supposed to feel in life and how I'm supposed to dress, and it was great. It I was think, uh, believe it or not, we, uh, we have to say, oh my gosh, guys, you might start crying. I'm not going to lie, it's 
Alright, next one. Modesty is hot. Looks like Jacob Hahn Connolly. Modest. Modest is hot. 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 There was this one girl. I thought her rather pretty. Pretty. Then she showed up in a polka dot bikini. I said, whoa, girl, no need to show me that. And she said, what? Does this make me look fat? I said, no, it does not make you look fatter. But what I like is inside of you, your outside shouldn't matter. Because modesty is modesty. Modesty is hot. 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 Nope. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. We will play that again later. It's also going to be on our Facebook page for all you guys that want to enjoy that again. Oh, Hillary, you can play that at home. Oh, um, so, Samantha, you are going to be one of our only seniors next year. I am. Are you excited for that? You know, I'm kind of sad because all my friends are graduating. I mean, I have other friends in other grades. How does that feel? Sorry, sorry, I meant all my senior friends have just graduated and I'm gonna miss them. But I know that I have friends here, but um, I'm gonna be sad that they're leaving. But I'm excited to be one of the only seniors. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. Samantha Narciso. Woo! All right. All right. Our next is uh, a little known man named Mitch Martin. We'll bring him out. Yeah. Hi, hey there. Let's hug. Okay, let's lean over. Good to have you. Good to have you. Be here. Let's get down to the Today Show. So let's get this going. Okay. All right. So I see a lot of. What is this motion that I see you doing? Um, what really what it is is uh, the week before camp, I ran into an individual um, who decided when he would speak to you that he would point at you individually so that you could talk. Um, so we kind of brought them to camp with us and we would kind of joke around with it and it would be our pointing, our way of pointing. So it kind of caught on really One of the cool coolest moments is when we were playing a game where the, everyone had to like sprint towards this line where the leaders were. And I stood in front of everyone and just threw it up. You see 35 hands just going that. So very Braveheart-esque. <laughs> I haven't seen the whole movie, so I assume that's how <laughs> So, um, you had a few highlights from this week. I did. Uh, you want to share some of those? Well, a goofier one would be, um, we actually enjoyed an open door policy amongst the, uh, the dorm rooms. <laughs> so they were just like guys and girls. Basically, yeah, yeah, that's okay, yeah. Um, so, I walk back, I think it was in the bathroom or something, and I walk in my room, and if you don't know Connor Williams very well. You know that you see him in a room by yourself, in your room by himself. No good can is, come of that. Yeah, this is not a good thing, right? So I'm looking around, kind of trying to figure out what's going on. He's in my bed, just laying there, kind of giggling. And I hear, boom, boom, crash. And I look in the closet, and there's Jacob, laying on the ground in my closet after breaking both shelves. That's new information for me. I don't want to tell you that, because... That's inspection. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Excellent. Excellent. So on the more serious side, um, getting together with so many Christians, that was the first time I've been around that many Christians before. So getting together and um, kind of praising God as a unit was uh, kind of uh, an eye-opener for me, so that was wonderful. Um, also, getting to know some of the younger guys in the group, Connor and Ian, and uh, I got to room with... Probably the funniest kid I think I've ever met in my life. Right? And, and Christopher, he wants to talk. Oh, there he is, right there, Chris. That's the one. That's my roommate. He uh, cracked me up every day. Um, it was, I was beat. It was two o'clock in the morning. I went to sleep. And I hear Mitch, Mitch. What, Chris? What was your favorite part about today? Hello, <laughs> oh, well, Chris. Go to sleep. <laughs> oh, that's some good bonding. Um, also, um, you talked about the um, being around all the Christians. Uh, we had there was a, a band that played. Did you, uh, can you talk, talk a little about the, the band? There were actually two bands. Um, one was a band called Atlantic. There they are here. This is their card. Um, all signed. All signed. Um, Quaker beard. The, the lead singer of uh, named Corey. He also gave a quick service one day. Um, and then the other one was called Alive. And they kind of intertwined and they would go together and then they would do their own separate concerts. It was, it was unbelievable because they're both great bands. Pretty impactful? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Awesome, very cool. All right, so we um, there was a lot of uh, rememberable quotes from this week we were talking about. There were, there were some yeah, so um, I'm going to play a little game, if that's okay with everyone, with Mitch. 
And uh, we're going to show you some quotes from this week, okay. and it will be your job to tell me who you think said them. Okay, okay so if we could show that the first one, first memorable quote. We're so far from anything that matters right now. <laughs> That's by far the funniest uh, quote. I think it was said by... That guy. Truly? Right here? This guy? That's a nice bracelet, by the way. Oh yeah, someone, in, there's Hannah, she gave it to me. It's wonderful. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever take it off. It's gonna be a real nice uh, tan line, though. <laughs> Alright, next quote. I'm gonna need a colon cleanser after this. <laughs> this is probably from one of the, uh, the big guys, I'll I would give, imagine. I'll give everybody here a guess and no one would get it. It's actually Sarah. <laughs> 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 Next quote is, I want, to, I want to punch him in the face in the name of the Lord. <laughs> do you know this one? Yeah, I think I do. Um, we had a, a speaker who came to us. His name was Charlie. Yeah. Was Charlie. Um, and that was who I believe it was. He put it in his sermon, so yeah. it was kind of clever. A guy bad. was speaking apocryphal, so. I he tweeted that. Punch him in the face in the name of the Lord to qualify. And then I tweeted that. Yes, he did. Yeah. And got in trouble for it. I got in trouble for it. <laughs> Our next quote. If this hill was a person, I'd punch it in the face. <laughs> Every day we had to walk up and down this really long hill that was like oddly high. Like, it was very scary. Really? Yes. Yeah. So, that was hilarious. Was this uh, was Micah? Micah Connolly. <laughs> Next quote is I have an announcement. Does anyone want to play Octoball? It must be said like this. Is there any interest in the Octoball team? We just get done with a very serious talk by that guy, Charlie. Motions are high. Christopher stands up. I have an announcement. Does anyone want to play Octoball? Way to bring it down. Hit the hand motion. Next quote is, Wearing pink is when I feel hottest. This is from one of our smaller girls. Uh, actually, no, it's from Nate Rail. Nate Rail! Nate Rail! Next quote. I know when I roll up to Big Al's, I'm gonna, I want to do some damage to my wallet. Big Al's in the cafeteria. Who said this one? I think you were with him. It's little, it's little Connor. <laughs> he treated all the leaders. Condro. Condro. Some damage to his wallet. Oh, Next quote that. is. Like 50 bucks. <laughs> this is when someone was about to enjoy some macaroni and cheese that looked really good. Let's try it on three. Wait. Is that cat hair? There was actually a hair in it. There, there was a hair? Who were you talking to? Mitch? Um, that was Kara. Kara? Kara. Kara. <laughs> you can tell by Kara's uh, 60s hair that's in that photo. <laughs> Next quote is, you're like a superhero, but without any power. <laughs> <laughs> this was said to me when I was wearing a cape and a lot of other fun things. Do you know came who? from the funnier click. <laughs> that would be Rachel. <laughs> Our next quote is, watch, I'm going to be the only guy at the salad bar. <laughs> Another priceless moment with uh, Connor Williams. That's right. <laughs> he walked there just as defeated as that silhouette would appear. I'm just like, oh, watch this. Our next quote, once that one direction comes on, I just turn into another person. Uh, Do you know? Uh, Levi. Maybe. Levi, is that right? <laughs> Said with a dead straight face. He loved it. It actually quote. looks like a Levi, doesn't it? <laughs> this is one of my personal favorite. Goals for this week. Grow spiritually. Get chicks. Not in that order. <laughs> Does anyone know? Anyone from the audience want to guess who this one is? Is that Mitch? Is that Mitch? All right, and we also have um, a cartoon. This is between two people. I'll be the first one. No, you be the first one, Mitch. Can I have a Coke? Um, well, I could use some flattery. Um, you have amazing eyes. I can see my hometown in them. <laughs> well, it's actually pretty good. Okay, here's a Coke. <laughs> can you imagine who the Coke person is? Jacob. That's Jacob. Said, conversation that was held with yours, Barry. Mitch Martin. Give it up for Mitch Martin, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Alrighty. Uh, our next guest is uh, Rebecca Curry. And how good it is. All right, so rumor have it, has it that you're going with us uh, to a college. I haven't heard this one. Uh, Hobart. Is that pronounced right? Uh, it's actually Harvard. 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 Ah, yeah. Michigan. Beautiful. Little known. Massachusetts. Little known college. Shut him to that. Low so on the, the, collegiate, yeah, low on the collegiate totem pole. <laughs> so, Rebecca, you had a good week? I had a great week. It was a blast. Really? Well, uh, let's go over some of your highlights. 
I think my favorite part of the week was probably the small group time we had. We had this big, uh, big together group time with the whole camp called The Mix, and we would do worship songs and hear a talk. But the best part about it was we got to break up into small groups afterwards with about, I guess, eight people and break down what we heard, answer some questions, and really get to know each other and talk through the different parts of whatever the talk was or the things that were going on in our life and really bond with a small group of girls for me. And that was probably the best part for me. Yeah, I know. We had a, we had a great small group. I was with the younger guys, and it was a blast. Um, also, at the end of the week, we um, after the last service, we had communion, which was a really great time. And then after communion, we had... Foot washing, which at first it was as awkward as it sounds, where you <laughs> wash each other's feet. And honestly, the buckets of water got a little bit smelly at the end. But uh, <laughs> it was um, a really cool experience, because once you got past the awkwardness, you get to sit down and show your appreciation for someone. And it comes from... Jesus washing his disciples' feet, and it's about humbling yourself before another person, and sometimes it's about showing forgiveness or working through a problem, but it's also just to show your appreciation for someone. And it was a really powerful experience, I think, for everyone. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I, I personally enjoyed it. I got my feet washed three times. I guess I needed it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rebecca Kerman, everyone. Thank you. Now, our next guests are, only one of the three are aware that they're coming up here, so I'd like to bring up the three young guns for the week. Christopher, Ian, and little Connor. Come on up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. 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 I am Foxwell. I'm, Fo I'm Foxwell. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> um, this was my small group, and I think that it was great. It was probably the best one out there in the whole camp. But um, that's, just, that's a little biased. But um, real quick, can I have each of your highlights? I know I didn't prep you guys, but can we have each of your highlights of the week? All right. Um, on Wednesday, it was my birthday, and um, I, I'll just I'll start, tell, you, say, um, I'll talk, tell you from the beginning. Um, so I was in Levi's dorm, and then um, Rich just says, go to bed. And then I go to bed, but I go, and I go back into the room. I'm like, why aren't you guys in bed? And then Willie's like, just go to bed. I thought I already told you to go to bed. And then I go to bed, and then like at like 12.01, everyone comes in and starts saying happy birthday, and and it was really cool because they all just like, yeah. So we thought we were being named for him, but we just wanted to show our appreciation for him. So what about Foxwell? Ian Foxwell. <laughs> Get out of the thing. You're good. <laughs> um, we had to sign this card, and uh, it was uh, Micah's birthday. Everyone signed it, and then I signed it. And when I signed it, it was, it was. Uh, oh. He wrote a uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ian Foxwell, Ian Foxwell? but he wrote the like I really I far Foxwell. away, so it looked like he wrote happy birthday. I am Foxwell. <laughs> so that became uh, something that we hung on to and just kept through the whole week. Yep. I am Foxwell. No, but what was, great, what was great about that was he had to take the, put the swimming test. And so, so somebody said, oh, did you take the swimming test? I said, yeah, how'd it go? I failed it. I said, yes. did, did you tell them I am Foxwell? He goes, yeah, I did. And they let me swim. That I am Foxwell thing really works. <laughs> All right. Connor? Um, at night, it got really late, and it like it was like one in the morning. It, let me tell you, it got weird. <laughs> um, and like I just remember, it, I was just like I was so out of it. But I remember I was in Mitch's bedroom, and I was just like tickle fight, and then, uh, and then we just had a massive tickle fight. And I was like, <laughs> That was awesome. I really enjoyed all that, and the, the whole week was really fun. Um, my personal highlight was on, I think, the second or third day, where there was these chat rooms that uh, Samantha was talking about, and then we were the leaders were somewhere else, and we came up, and uh, I can see these guys across the field, and I start walking to them, and they run up to me, and Connor grabs me in a hug and tells me, what'd you say? Uh, no. <laughs> Your, the, the decision that you guys made. Oh yeah. Um, oh, we um, we accepted God spiritually and like as our leader, right? Is that it? Accepted Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was uh, the most emotional that I got all week. That was awesome. Just getting to hang out with these guys, and we had a, we had a blast all week. Isn't that right? Yeah. Every uh, every small group, I had to start by handing Ian food just so he wouldn't uh, walk away. <laughs> start looking for food somewhere. It was great, but uh, we had a great time, guys. Thanks a lot. Ha, ha, ha.
All right, we have two more guests. Um, and if you guys will help me welcome, Micah Connolly and Ursi Dedekin. We will share So I asked them, I asked some people if they would like to share just something that really meant something to them. So I'll have Ursula go first, and then uh, Mikey can share. You can take that, sure. Okay. Hey guys. Um, so what I thought was really memorable for me was, um, we go to chapel at night, it's called The Mix, and um, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I didn't know what was going on. And um, all of a sudden we, we rush to the stage and we start singing um, some Christian songs. And um, one kid in particular caught my attention, hat backwards, eyes closed, sunglasses or whatever, and I could just really tell that he was deeply filled with God, and I just thought, he's a teenager, he's a kid like me, and I want to I wanna feel what he's feeling right now, and I want to give myself up to God, and I want to be a kid like him. Um, my highlight would have to be probably the um, team unity for the red team. Uh, like for being four churches kind of put together, we really came together and made it happen. And some of my favorite times were just getting ready for team comps and feeling everybody really be a community. And I thought that was really awesome. Very cool. All right, thank you ladies. Thank you very much. Mike and Archie. All right, I'm going to ask um, Nathan Rail to come back up so he can share with us a little bit a little bit more about some stuff that matters. So Nate, you can take it away. 